Choco smile. Choco, lighten up! Shouldn't I have a reason to smile? Yes, the fact that you're still employed. Don't touch me. What's gotten into you? Hmm. Today is Bakery Town's Happy Small Business Day. Keyword happy. <clears throat> I'm here on behalf of Bakery City Hall. Yes, welcome. We're over the mooncake to have you here. Looks fairly clean. Okay. Employees get regular paychecks, too. Employee happiness index. Hmm. Hmm. Well, seems you pass in every regard except your employee happiness index is low. That can't be true. They're happy. Happiest in town, right? Sir, yeah. does this employee look happy to you? This shop is disqualified from receiving government subsidies until workplace joy is restored. Good day to you all. But, but, but wait! Uh, I need that money, not again! <laughs> it's your fault we're not chosen for the subsidy! This is a very joyful place to work! Can't you just smile? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my silliest faces did work. I'll have to try. What? I'm not funny? Wait, huh? Let me give it a shot. Ta da! I'm sure I'll make you laugh with this. Huh? Is this ticklish on your foot? What the crust? Hmm. Oh, nothing seems to work. Aha! Mm -hmm. ha! The first person to make Choco smile will receive seven dollars! <sighs> Where are all the crowds? Will, are you sure you put the sign outside? Of course I do. No one's gonna come for seven bucks. I heard I can make seven dollars here. Times are hard for actors. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll make someone laugh. Okay, <laughs> uh. uh. welcome everyone, and for the grand prize of seven dollars, it's the Make Chuckle Smile Contest. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to introduce the first contestant with a distinctive smell, but a face that's so cute, it's cheese. Choco, I brought something you can't resist. Ta-da! Ah, his weapon of choice is a smartphone. I'm just gonna show you the latest episode of Comedy Crumb Fest! Oh, no! Socially relevant sketch comedy? There's just no way she'll resist that. See? This show's awesome. Isn't it funny? Nah, that's not my thing. Oh, no way! But everybody likes Comedy Crumb Fest! Oh! <laughs> You're curdling me! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Looks like contestant number one just couldn't cut the cheese. Now, moving on. He's got a million dollar face, but will burn at too high a temperature. Butter! <laughs> Whoa, he's so awesome! That's a beautiful mugshot on that guy. Yeah, I'd share my box with him. Hey there, Choco. I'm here to make you smile. Oh. Choco, you can be the macaroni to my cheese. Choco, are you made of marshmallows and graham? Because I would love to see you some more. Are you a soft drink? Because you're so delicious. Hey, do you smell burning? They say butter melts easily, but I'm on fire for you, Choco. Uh, Stop oh. making barf. <clears throat> oh, it looks like our second contestant has failed as well. He really thought that would work. <laughs> and now, give it up for... I'm up next. <laughs> Those seven bucks are mine, all mine. Smile, now, or else. Or else what? Else you'll be real sorry. You're in for it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You think that's funny? 
Let me fix those smiles! <laughs> hey! Give me that cash! I need it for burial! <laughs> Let's hope our third contestant won't return! But this contest is still going strong! Give a warm welcome to our next competitors! La 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 la! I don't think there's anyone who can make her smile. I guess some people just aren't meant to be as happy as others. Nobody wins. Let's just bring this contest to a close. Huh? Package delivery! <laughs> Choco, right? This package is for you. Good crust! Only ordering things online makes her happy! <laughs> Hello! The winner of our Make Chuckle Smile contest is... This <laughs> Congrats, sir! This $7 prize money is yours! <laughs> And gentle Prince, welcome to the greatest makeover show, Master Patissier! Oh, what are you slackers watching this time? Master Bread, have you heard of this show before? Master Patissier gathers top hairdressers and brings them on to transform people's lives. Mm, those Silas look average at best. By the way, you've got mail from the TV station here. Mm -hmm. We cordially invite you to appear on Master Patissier. Wow! Appear on the show? Uh, we gotta do it, okay? We don't have time. We're better off making money in the shop. All our fabulous hairdressers are awarded with a new sports car. <laughs> Choco, clear my schedule. Where do I need to go to do this thing? Says you need to be at the broadcast studio next Tuesday at noon. <clears throat> Would be rude of me to reject this invitation. Whoa! This means you're gonna go? Sausage, we need to make a sign to cheer him on! <laughs> Shocking transformations. Tear-jerking real-life stories. I'm your host, Croissant. Welcome to the world's best makeover show, Master Patissier! <laughs> so, most tarts have fillings like they're supposed to. But what happens when one is born empty inside? Please welcome on stage, Tart! <laughs> Tell us, what's wrong? Mm, uh, I don't have any custard. Lord, a tart with no custard cream? You sure it's true? A tart with no custard filling can't even be called a tart at all. You think he'd uh, use whipped cream or some other alternative? It's been like this since I was born. <laughs> huh? There's nothing in this one. You can't put this one out. Those look delicious. Oh. And that fruit topping. Oh, like tiny little pies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, poor kid. I only want to live like a normal dessert. My heart aches for this poor kid who just wants to be like other tarts. 
But don't worry, it's what I do. We at Master Patissier have found the best barber in Bakersfield and brought him in to grant your wish. No gang without grain, it's Master Red! Have you prepared a miracle to turn this tart's life around? Piece of cake. I'll start with homemade custard cream, piling it gently on here. And top it off with strawberry slices. You'll look fine, fresh, and fruity. Whoa! And now, without further ado, let's start! <laughs> First, he begins by preparing the custard filling. Oh! Just look at that technique, class! A veteran for sure! <laughs> Just like that, he's got a head full of sweetness. Now, time to touch up. No, oh, I can hardly handle the drama. <laughs> Amazing. He really is the best stylist in the world. <laughs> so cool. Slice like a ninja. His moves are all exciting. <laughs> My crust! Genius! This is why we're here, to see incredible transformations like this. And now, bring down the mirror! <laughs> Think it's good? Yeah, looks great, sir. Tart loves his makeover! But there's one more surprise we brought for you. Please welcome Tart Brothers! You're our brother! You know we always got your back! Holy waffles! Oh, Jesus! That's just for me? What a shocking twist! Tart's brothers have foregone their filling, too! This isn't who I am! Thank you! Are you kidding? I worked hard on that! <laughs> we know it hasn't been easy. We'll always be here. <laughs> oh, those custom cream ingredients aren't cheap. Master Bread, this uh, means you can't have the sports car, but better luck next time. What? You know how hard I worked on the design for that stupid kid? <laughs> Master Bread is just getting emotional, too. Good night, and we'll see you all next time. In the... <laughs> like it, Hmm? Ooh, boss. Looks like another letter from Master Patissier. I want nothing to do with that show. We'd love to have you on our show again. The ratings were through the roof. I bet you want me back, you stale old croissant. Chaco, look after the shop. <sighs> hm. Stupid show thing. Strawberry and chocolate. Ah, oh, Romeo, my love. On this full moon, what couldst thou be up to? What perfect lighting I have. Tis time for a selfie to send to Romeo. And a one, two... Juliet! <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, calm down. Tis me. Romeo? How comes here, though? Thy strawberry scent draws me, even in the chocolatey darkness of night, my love. Romeo... Juliet! <laughs> Romeo? Give me my long spoon, ho! Oh, a chocolate cake! How darest thou come here? Juliet! Father, let Romeo go! Silence, daughter! Please, sire, Juliet is my world! In no world will Juliet and thou be together! Take this villain out with haste! Yes, cuz! <laughs> Juliet! Romeo! Juliet! Romeo! 
If thou meet'st that cad once more, you will be banished! <laughs> Romeo! <laughs> Dearest, not approach Juliet again! I'll rip out thy chips, thou chocolate coward! <laughs> oh, Juliet, if thee and me couldst be together, into the hottest oven or frozen freezer I'd go! Hast thou lost thy mind? The daughter of my ancient enemy! You'll be banished from my house if you ever see her again! That's not fair! Juliet and I are in the truest of true love! Foolish boy, thou hast gone mad! <laughs> Mom! Husband, stay thy foul mood. Romeo, apologize to thy father now. <sighs> it's no matter. The Valentine's Day party is nigh. A fair chocolate maid will find one right for thee and this family. Father, I protest! Romeo, please understand. Unless a strawberry cake you're baked anew, there's no world for you and Juliet. Uh, then I'll become a strawberry cake! What? <laughs> thou shalt not see Juliet again! Indeed, this is Bread Barber Shop! I'm certain Master Bread can turn chocolate to strawberry! Then Juliet's parents shall bless our fair union! 98, 99, 100. That's the number we'll be taking for Valentine's Day this year. I don't want to be, though! Come earlier next year. But I've brought all the money in my purse! Ugh, money is but worthless without my love! <gasps> In the spirit of St. Valentine, I'll accept just one more customer. You want me to turn you into a strawberry cake? Yes, Master Bread. Tis the only way, by my truth. Well, Tid, not everyone gets to be baked as a delicious chocolate cake. Why are you trying to change? I must be a strawberry cake for Juliet and I to freely love. Without Juliet, even the richest of chocolate cake is poor. Don't cry now. But who's Juliet, though? Juliet, my sweet <laughs> strawberry love. But friends, our families are mortal foes. Two cake mixes, both alike in dignity. An ancient grudge twixt chocolate and strawberry. These chocolate cowards, this coat is ours. Why do the strawberries grow fussy when tis spring no longer? <laughs> Not but a frozen berry! For hundreds of years, our families have fought! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Tis bad luck to run into a chocolate cake before the morn is done! I wondered from whence that stench came from. Twas strawberry. Huh? Thou art the color of poop! Comest at me, berry brain! Our parents are still old enemies! <laughs> Huh? I never saw true beauty till now. I think my strawberries might burst. At first sight, Juliet and I fell fast in love. We won't let the feud betwixt our families star-cross our love. Tis tragic, Romeo. Real sad, yeah. Please, make me strawberry now! Then Juliet's parents shall finally permit our love! Okay, pal, I'll make it into the sweetest strawberry slice in town! Wilk, <laughs> bring all my strawberry stuff here, stat! Sir! Mm. <laughs> mm. When I'm through, you yourself won't know who you are. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, for anything! First, let's take this chocolate topper off. Juliet is my uh. whole life, and this topper gets in the way. Hey, love's barrier, fall away. Uh, that is beyond tacky. Uh. Uh, I got goosebumps. Now, time for some strawberry cream. Uh, uh, this pink cream is as pure as our love. <laughs> oh, strawberries, uh. just like fair Juliet's uh. hair. Oh, Juliet, uh, thine eyes at mm. night shine brighter than the fullest moon. Uh, Will, shut uh, this guy's mouth. I can't uh, work here. Uh, Master Bread, deep breaths. Smell all the money Romeo was paying you. Oh, what perfection. 
Congrats, kid. You're a strawberry oh. cake. Venus, goddess of beauty and true love, sent the great barber uh. bread to renew uh. mine hope once more. Oh, my dear Juliet, we'll finally be together soon. Well, I'm beat. Let's close up. Yeah. What Who is you that gentleman? Oh. What if it's discovered oh, that I'm a delicious. chocolate cake? Oh, my! <laughs> my berries <laughs> look precious, too! See as though a strawberry cream. <sighs> they recognize me not. Now I must find fair Juliet. Oh, oh fine. Beg, beg your pardon. Huh? <laughs> Who art thou? Uh, father. Huh? What hast thou done? Father, stay thou. I'll tell you. Silence! Thou art the heir of the chocolate clan! Now thou art a foul strawberry cake! Huh? Romeo! Uh -huh. Thou looks better with all thy chocolate covered! Congrats! Thou art now a strawberry cake! It suits thee well. <laughs> Should have changed before. <laughs> to marry fair Juliet, now I'm a strawberry cake! Please, sir, let us be betrothed! Thou shalt not! <laughs> now that thine only heir is turned strawberry! <laughs> Tis kettles for your family! <laughs> <laughs> Lookest thou not smug, knave? <laughs> Seest who's here. What? Uh, is thou J Juliet? <laughs> Why art thou a chocolate cake, daughter? <gasps> Did he trick you? No, no. I changed to be with my love, Romeo. <laughs> Husband! What hast thou done? You're a disgrace! <laughs> Father, ow! Putting strawberry cream on thyself shames us all! Now come! Husband, Father. calm thyself! No matter what thou does, I'll ne'er let you to be with her! Give up! Enough! Please stop, all of you! Yeah. Heavens above, why must you make us suffer so? Let us love oh. each other! Juliet, let us away! <laughs> Yes, Romeo. Oh. <laughs> Stop right there, boy. Juliet, together we may leap over any wall betwixt our love. Dearest Romeo, <laughs> with thee anywhere I will go. <laughs> Save Juliet oh. from that villain. Bring Romeo back now. Yes. <laughs> uh, insane youths, come quietly. Juliet, even death can't take me from you. Romeo, without thee, nowhere I'll go! And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, time to pick this year's Valentine couple! And this year's Valentine couple is... Congratulations, Romeo and Juliet! They're a chocolate and strawberry cake couple! How delicious! What foolishness is this? Get thee down from there! And now, the couple will kiss. <laughs> Strawberry and chocolate have finally become one. Love does conquer all. Stop this instant. And this. Congratulations. This year's Valentine couple will be given a special gift from the queen. Who cares for gifts? A brand new sports car! <laughs> Hot night hands right now! A penthouse in Eclair Estates! <laughs> it doesn't end there, folks. If these two get married, the queen will give a one million dollar prize! <laughs> I always thought Romeo to be a sweet boy. Romeo's a catch, I do agree. Juliet's truly fair, don't you think it's so? Uh, I think so. No one can control who their child loves. <laughs> Tis true! Get married! Get married! Get married! Get married! Get married! Our parents cheer too. I oh. know. Well then, it seems they have finally accepted us. I love you, Juliet. Me too, Romeo. Mm. Wow! Romeo and Juliet get to be happy. It's true love. Love, yeah. Master Brad, you know Romeo and Juliet both wanted to be like the other cake. <laughs> so why'd you change them both? Uh, mm -mm. A true barber always meets the customer's needs. Wow, I knew there was a reason. 
I thought you were trying to get double the dough for the same hairdo. Huh. <laughs> what are you trying to Nothing. say? <laughs> Terminator Bread. There's nothing going on tonight. Yeah. Hey, check out the love yeah. muffins. How about we do a little target practice, huh? Ooh, that sounds sweet. Hey, what's up, you doughhead? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you okay? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye! Perfect shot. <laughs> they look kind of mean. Come on, honey, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to teach them. <laughs> what say we find our next victim, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, over there! Look at that lightning! What uh, the bread is that? A monster? <laughs> Check out the tiny! <laughs> Guess baby's not potty trained yet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's sad in this way. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> you want a bite of me? Huh? Uh, 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 think you're so tough? Uh, 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 please don't hurt me anymore. Just ask. I'll give you anything you want. All right. I want your clothes. My clothes? Sure, why not? Did you want the pants as well? <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you. Hello, <laughs> <sighs> 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 Wonderful. A refreshing way to start the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? <gasps> <gasps> what is this? Who, who are you? I am the Bredonator. <laughs> Bredonator? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry I laughed at you. It's not funny at all. <laughs> Disposable cops should be terminated. Switch to reusable. Oh, but reusable is such a hassle. Hey, you! He's crushing my hand! Help Let's me! Let's go see! Looks like in a movie! Hey, they could be twins, couldn't they? Which one is Master Brad? Uh, 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 leave me! Oh, good, he's not following me! Uh, he's so fast! Taxi! Quick! Red Barbershop! Step on it! Yeah. Uh, 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 the east. Why aren't we moving? It looks like we're stuck. Huh? What is that? Taxis are bad. Just floor it, will you? Get me out of here! Why are you doing this to me? Why are you taking a taxi when your shop is only a three-minute walk? You're destroying the environment. Well, see, uh, sometimes I'm running a little behind. And Emissions from cars can be very harmful. They pollute the air and create excess smog. So take it from me, if you can walk. Uh, 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 I've been branded! Uh, 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 I hope he didn't follow me here. Mr. Bread, uh, what is it? Did something happen? Uh, yeah. This crazy bread was following me, and I tried to run it. Ah! How the bread did you get here before me? Well, Taco, there he is, right there. So is he like uh, your brother? Yeah, you're pretty idea. Uh, are you crazy? This guy's an alien robot monster. We have to run. Ah! Uh, what is it you want from me anyway? I want nothing from you. I came to teach you about the environment. The environment? But why? Perhaps you've not been listening to me. Uh, <laughs> let's take it easy, you two. I'll turn on the air conditioner and we can... Conditioned air is completely unnecessary. If you turn on your air conditioner, carbon dioxide levels will rise, and that will make the Earth warmer. If the Earth warms by two degrees, sea levels will rise, and the cities will be flooded. Millions of baked goods may one day be lost. Electric fans are a safer choice. Well... I guess you're right. <gasps> All right. Huh? Uh. Choco, what are you yelling about? Did something exciting happen? Mm-hmm. The dress I ordered is coming today. I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Choco, do you know how much water is used to make the clothing we wear? 2,000 liters are used to make a single T-shirt. 10,000 liters are used to make a pair of jeans. Can that be true? Dyeing fabrics for clothes causes a great amount of water <gasps> pollution. From now on, buy only what you need. I didn't know. I'll do better. 
Bread, milk, <gasps> chocolate. You don't understand that pollution is very serious. So I am here to teach you all how you can make a difference. Uh, looks empty. Oh, Wilk, bring me a new one. Huh? Uh, why'd you do that? Looks to me like there's still a lot left. You just have to give it a good shake. Uh, Hi, Wilk here. Oh, hey, Cheese. Uh. Wasting water is very dangerous. Baked goods can get burnt due to water scarcity. Use water more efficiently, Wilk. Okay. I'd like to place an order. The sushi special with the side salad. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? 8.5 million pieces of trash are from food deliveries. Homemade meals are more responsible. Uh, uh, <laughs> that bread nader guy's a total pain in the crust! Who does that loaf think he is? Hey, you! Uh, you didn't separate uh, your recyclables. What are you doing? Tissues aren't recyclable. Spray cans are plastic. The newspaper should be separated. So get separating. Why are you making life harder for me? Mr. Bread, what's wrong? What did the Breadinator do to you now? The Breadinator decided to empty my trash on the street. What? <laughs> on the street? That is so rude. Well, he did not separate his recyclables. This is imperative so that paper and plastic can be reused in the future. Mixing paper and plastic is not the end of the world! Ah, ah. Big red town's collapsing due to that selfish godless thinking! Oh. Hang on! You're from the future, aren't you? That's right. The town's courting disaster. I know because I've seen the consequences. Oh. Wait, what? Look, it's a hologram! Due to pollution, water is undrinkable. The air has become so poisoned that every citizen wears a gas mask. Is that really oh. our future? Master Brett, I'm scared! And while the people of Bakery Town are suffering from pollution, one man decides to make a robot in his own image. And that man is none other than Master Brett. What? Hey, that's me! Master Bread, you're crying! In the future, Wilk is suffering the effects of polluted water. Choco has become moldy due to poison there. Oh, no way! Uh, I've got mold all over me. Bread, when you saw your friends suffering from so much pollution, you created me and sent me to the past to save Bakery Town from a dreadful fate. So, I'm your father? It's not too late, Bread. You can save your friends and change the future, but you must protect the environment. I had no idea. I didn't realize pollution could be so serious, but now I know. I'll definitely be more careful now. Now that you understand, go forth and change the future. Will do. Yeah. Stop! Ah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, I have to admit, I like being responsible. I agree. Even the air smells a lot cleaner, too. Bakery Town's future's <laughs> looking a whole lot brighter. <gasps> Excuse me, that isn't where your trash should go. Trash should go in a trash receptacle. Don't forget, cans are recyclable. Uh, my bad. We'll clean up the town one day at a time. Isn't it great, sir? Hmm. You are all working hard. And it's all thanks to you, Breadinator. We're really uh -huh. grateful. That's good, because I am afraid my time is up. Uh, uh -huh. What time? You mean you're going? I was only built to last <gasps> one week. But that can't be! Thankfully, I was able to spread the message to you all about the dangers of pollution. Since you now possess that information, my mission is done, and I must go. No, wait. You can't go away now. We need your help. We have so much more to do. Soon, my body will no longer work. Go and spread my message to all the other big goods you know. No, my robot son! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Please stay! <laughs> 30 years later. <sighs> Wilk, Chago, 
Hang in there. Redonator said it wouldn't end this way. Huh? Oh. Masks again. Redonator really saved us all. Master Red. Huh? Wilk, Choco, you look so much better. But how did it happen, sir? I'm completely mold free. Wait! Redonator, you saved the day. How can we thank you? Because of you, Bakery Town is more beautiful than ever. Great expectations. Uh, uh, slow down, will ya? Oh. Hey, Master Bread. Twisted Bread, is this sports car really yours? Yeah, I bought it. You were whining about not having customers at the laundromat. So how did you afford a sports car? Hmm. Ah, well, last year I turned my laundry into a five-story building. Then, believe it or not, the building's value skyrocketed five times! Five times? So if I turn the shop into a ten-story building, then its value will increase by ten! That's not necessarily how it works. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Twisted! <laughs> Hello and good day! Welcome to Bakery Realty! Uh, building prices are rising, is that true? You're from Bread Barbershop, are you? Welcome, sir! Indeed, real estate prices in Bakery Town are going through the roof! The laundromat rose five times, and the taco shack rose seven! They've all increased profits by expanding their buildings! If you expand your barbershop, there's just no telling how much money you could make! Then expand is what I'll do, but how many floors? I've heard it said the higher something is, the better! So, let's go for ten! Okay, then we'll go for ten! What? You're gonna knock it down, sir? Wow. The prices of real estate in Bakery Town are growing by the day. If I knock this place down and build a bigger building, I'll be rolling in dough! We'll have a cafe, a diner, a hospital, a bookstore, a clothing boutique, an internet cafe, a karaoke club, a cineplex, and a barber shop right there at the top! Mr. Bread, how could you knock down our little store? I love it so much! Quit being <gasps> sentimental! This is our chance to rake in the dinero! There won't be any profits during the construction, Master Bread. You okay with that? Yes, I am willing to take the loss. Plus, it will more than make up for it in the end. Just wait. I'll give uh, you the cafe and Wilk the internet cafe. <laughs> the sofa goes there. And the table goes right over there. Master Bread. You, you scared me. What's wrong? The guys found something in the shop back there. You might want to come take a look. Uh, it's probably nothing of importance. Uh, what is that? When we broke through the wall, mm. we found this old mural, boss. It doesn't look like just any mural. What should we do? Should we stop the construction? Uh, don't stop construction! Just demolish it! Wait, 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 wait. Is this the barbershop where they found the mural? It was on the news today. It was on the news already? Let me introduce myself. Prestigious Breadbridge University Road Scholar, legendary art historian and archaeologist, Indiana Breads, Esquire. Uh, <laughs> wait, this tastes familiar. Ho, ho, ho! This mural right here is 600 years old. It's a work by the renowned artist Leonardo Bread Vinci. The Bread Nalisa! An original Bread Vinci? Ain't he the oh. one that painted the last sandwich? The Bread Nalisa is famously said to have been painted by Leonardo at an unknown location. I searched for it everywhere, only to find it in a shabby salon. All right, get scarce, will ya? I need to knock down this shabby salon for construction. What do you mean, knock it down? Are you crazy or something? This cultural artifact needs to be registered by UNESCO. If you ruin this great mural, you will be the target of worldwide criticism. <laughs> hmm. Master Bread! <laughs> the housing prices are skyrocketing through the roof. Ooh. If you make this a 10-story building, you'll be worth 10 million. Uh. 
Are you sure? Uh, you capitalist Bulgarian! This priceless painting must not be destroyed! Join the real world, why don't you? We're talking money here! Millions! You think you're better just because you're smart! You think so? Well, this smart guy will knock your block off, buddy! Knock it off! Where do you think you are? A boxing ring? I bet we could go up to 15 million. What? 15 mil? <laughs> Demolish that wall! And you, scram! <laughs> You'll regret bye it. Bye-bye, Mr. Hoity-toit. Oh, this construction is taking too long. It's Ooh. true. We need to work faster. Down with bread! Huh? Down with bread! Art over profit! Art over profit! Bread, you're destroying our culture! Stop it now! No way, not that archaeologist huh? guy again. Sure is, huh? and now he's got protesters too. Quit making a spectacle of yourselves, will ya? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah. Take, uh, take a nap! <laughs> With those tomatoes on him, he looks just like a pizza! A really green pizza, though, huh? Culture before green! Shame! Shame! Shame. <sighs> All those people think they're so high and mighty. I'm exhausted. If you destroy this mural, you will be vilified forever. If you make this a ten-story building, you'll be worth ten million! Destroy your culture! culture. Shame. 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 Ah, I can't sleep because of that stupid mural! I'm gonna destroy that nuisance myself! Uh, that bread and Elise has nothing but trouble! Huh? What's going on? They're in tents out here? Camping out in front of my barber shop! <laughs> really? How am I gonna get inside? Breaking and entering like a common thief? Uh, I should be home sleeping in my bed. Look at this moldy mural. I'm gonna get rid of you here and now, Missy. When I wipe you out, I'm gonna be a wealthy man. That was easier than I thought. Uh, oh, now who could be calling me this late at night? Talk to me! Master Bread, that archaeologist dude is on TV right now! Wilk, I'm very busy right now. If it's not important... This is important, sir. That mural you found today is worth 20 million! Did... did you say... Yeah! You really uh, are gonna be a millionaire, uh, Master Bread! Uh, 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 Ten million dollars for a building? Twenty million for a painting? Why? My foolish hands have betrayed me. But wait, I might have ruined that mural, but I can paint it again. If I do it carefully, no one will suspect anything. I am a genius! <laughs> Stop suppressing. <sighs> Boy, protesting must be really hard work. Everyone's so sleepy mm, out there. True that. <gasps> Master, Master Bread! Bread! Wake up, Master Bread! Can you hear me? Huh? What is that? What's what? Ah! We've been vandalized! You can say that again! Who could have done such a thing? Destroying a Leonardo Bread Finchie! What a monster! I'm the monster! <gasps> I ruined the Leonardo! I destroyed it so I could demolish the building! Then I tried to fix it, but I failed! <laughs> what if Wait, I you... Oh, maybe try not to think about all the millions you've lost. That's <laughs> not helping, Wilk! <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? Did you really ruin that mural, Brad? Uh, uh, it's fine! <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> oh, the mural! It's been ruined! You destroyed the bread and Elisa, didn't you? Why don't you just admit it? How could you possibly have done such a terrible thing? You leave me no choice but to put this on social media. Get ready to get canceled, mister. You're gonna go broke. That bread's a crumb. My whole life is ruined. I'll never be able to show my face again. <laughs> what? Master Bread, the news must have spread. There's a giant crowd. What? Wilk, Choco, we gotta hide! Uh, oh, we can't be the ruined mural! Please, please forgive me! I didn't mean to do it, honest! No way! <laughs> there it is, you guys! Yeah, wow. it's the Rechna Lisa! Wow, what a riot! <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually seeing this! Would you mind taking a photo? Me too! What is happening here? Master Brad, look at this. Ooh. 
This Rekna Lisa thing is trending everywhere now. People are making memes about it all over social media. Look, the statue of Rekerty, Wrecked Sphinx, Ross Wreck, Mount Wreckmore, Wrecked Flowers, even the Wrecked Supper. So all these people saw these online and came here? Yep, that's right. I can't believe so many people showed up to see a dumb mural. Wilk, Chaku, get to work right away. Gotta collect those admission fees. We're charging to get into the barbershop now? We're no ordinary barbershop. We're the Rekna Lisa Barbershop. Welcome all. Come see the Rekna Lisa. $10 to see it, 50 for a Rekna Lisa hairstyle. Hmm. Ta da! Oh, Master Bread, you're so good with hair and ruining murals! No, no, you're far too flattering. Wow, he really turned things around. Good for Master Bread! I guess. Well, huh? send in our next customer, if you please. Yep, come in and see the mural. Welcome! We're the Retina Lisa Barbershop. 